from room 218. It's Friday morning. Go, Kenny. Also in room 218 is the JFK Choral Director, Ms. Alice Lembraya. Yeah. And now my colleague and Chai and Co-President, Jonathan Kim. Thank you, Chai and Co-President Margola. Good morning, everyone. This is Jonathan Kim. We will continue with some Mozart later on in the program. The teachers that walk by our room at 7.30 in the morning often remark to Mr. Kowski that they don't know how he gets teenagers to show up so early. The answer is easy. Early every morning, Mr. Rakowski drives around Great Neck and pulls up to each camera music student's home and honks on his car the four note motif da, 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 from Beethoven's Fifth starting at 5.15 a.m. and getting to the last house by 5.55 a.m. And now my colleague Kevin Dodd. Thank you, Jonathan. Good morning, everyone. This is Kevin. Oh, yeah. Kevin 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 Thank you, Jonathan. Good morning, everyone. This is Kevin Kadavi. We have a special guest in our audience today, all the way from Arkansas, Mr. Jody Mazaras, a band of Mr. Kasky back in their high school days. Jody was the principal euphonium player of the Smithtown High School Symphonic Band. Jody, you'd be happy to know that in our symphonic band of 76 musicians, we have four euphonium players. And now my colleague, Stephanie Barber. Thank you, Kevin. Good morning, everyone. This is Stephanie Barber, and it's always a pleasure to be on the air with you. We love playing our instruments with our friends, and it makes it extra special when we know we are out there listening and watching us. We happen to know that we have returning audience members from Arkansas, Florida, Texas, and Israel today. On another note, we have another Lincoln Center project in the making. Last year, we got a grant of $1,000 from Lincoln Center for the Chamber of Music program. This year, we applied once again, and we found out just last night that we made it into the
page it looked nothing the beginning simple almost comic just a pulse bassoons basset horns like a rusty squeeze box <laughs> and then suddenly high above it an oboe A single note hanging there, unwavering. Until a clarinet took it over. And sweetened it into a phrase of such delight. This was no composition by a performing monkey. This was a music I've never heard. Filled with such longing, such unfulfillable longing. It seemed to me that I was hearing the voice of God. Excuse me. But why? Why would God choose an obscene child to be his instrument? It was not to be believed. This piece had to be an accident. It had to be.